Hello everybody and today I've decided to dedicate uh, today's video to one specific build. So we are in a Sterlite driving, uh, Sterlite driving and um, this is a very interesting location because uh, you know uh, it's a big location and uh, it's uh, the only remaining like uh, cinema thing related thing. Uh, and uh, there were a lot of things uh, going on in my head while I, I first arrived at the settlement because uh, first uh, thing I thought about is cinema uh, the second thing I thought about is uh, cars yeah uh, because it's a giant parking lot this settlement <laughs> is a giant parking lot then I saw uh, a bunch of other things but I've decided to build uh, one specific thing here uh, I've always wanted to do something like this. I've always wanted to do uh, like a Mad Max style garage. Uh, because you know, uh, cars in the Fallout universe are not much used. Yeah, it's uh, um, not a thing. I mean, it's a thing, but uh, we can see cars in, in use actually. And uh, I've decided to think about this concept. Maybe um, Minutemen uh, are able to resurrect, bring back to life some of the cars, or not Minutemen, but uh, a bunch of enthusiasts. And uh, what's the best settlement to build uh, a cool Mad Max garage themed thing that Starlight driving? Again, it's a big parking lot. So I'd like to present you the Wastelanders garage. Okay, so let's check this out uh, to begin with from the outside uh, we have uh, again I went with a um, combined architecture style we have uh, pieces from warehouse we have shed pieces we have um, mod pieces um, I guess it's a kind of a residential downtown structures but as you can see, this building uh, is made from two parts. That part um, where you drive in and this main garage. You can see the style I was heading on. It was a little bit hard to merge these styles together. I wanted to make this uh, cool rounded sloped roof. And I also wanted to be kind of blocky to represent uh, a warehouse. As you can see, part of this building is made from metal, corrugated metal, and part of this building is made from wood. I've made a nice transition here. Many, many decorations. I've used uh, guardrails everywhere because, again, I thought about things that set settlers could possibly scavenge around. And around this settlement, we have a bunch of roads uh, where you can find these uh, guardrails. And of course, we have a giant Wastelanders garage sign. Basically, what this is, um, you can see that these uh, letters are enormous. This is your regular letters but they were scaled up using console commands so now let's have a look around here we have a cool truck you can see already uh, the main idea what i always wanted to build is a kind of a mad maxi mixed uh, stylistic uh, vehicles uh, we can't have 
this truck in a game. This piece is a Far Harbor van, and this piece is uh, your regular Commonwealth truck. Um, I've managed to merge them together to make a cool, uh, I guess very cool truck. We have wheel covering, we have turret on a roof, uh, we have a bunch of signs for decorations, a bunch of lights uh, from your regular game, again wheel covering. Uh, to be honest, this, this piece covers, uh, let me show you, covers uh, the van wheel. Uh, you can see we have a van wheel uh, here in the middle of yeah 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 what well, here he, here you can see this third wheel uh, awkwardly sticking and I had to cover this up a little bit so in the front we have this cool bumper again using the guardrail so it's um, this wastelanders guys ultimate unit uh, I had hard time to imagine how this truck could drive in because we have a very tight passage here but later I just made this these gates so this truck could go a little bit off road and drive straight here um, let's go here this this is my favorite part this is my favorite vehicle look how how nicely these things like merged together this is, uh, you, you could see uh, this car all around the canvas, and you can see this tractor uh, in a, um, I don't know where, but you can see this tractor on the farms. And like these things were like made for each other, I don't know. Uh, it's uh, Somehow it looks right, somehow it looks right. Uh, this is my favorite vehicle, because it, it looks like it's supposed to be that way almost. And then we have this. Then, um, kind of abomination of thing. Uh, I used a uh, cabin from I, I don't know what vehicle this is, but we could have this cabin uh, separately in a mod. Uh, so I merged this cabin with uh, this van. I also added this train carriage. So I supposed that this thing could be a garbage truck or something like that. So uh, let's head on inside. Uh, despite the fact that uh, we have a bunch of clutter here, we've met with uh, the Wanderer motorbike with an addition, with an addition, as you can see. Uh, basically, uh, I've tried to really make this uh, garage as a place for car enthusiasts of the Camelos. It's possibly the only place in the Commonwealth where you could um, join the group that managed to drive cars all around the Commonwealth. I sent Stu just here, it makes sense. He's an engineer, he's a cool guy. And this guy, for some reason, is an alert. Uh, so we met with this cool uh, motorbike with an add-on, so you can drive with your with your buddy. What's going on? Uh, it was made using scaled up uh, and scaled down, uh, scaled, skill set commands. Uh, then we have this car, this car called the Ranger. Let's let's take a look on this car. Quick look. We have uh, rails, uh, railings. We have protection. We have many things. We have mounted uh, base ugly creature. Uh, we have custom inside. I've managed to do the wheel using regular plate and a cat ball. Uh, again, scaled up dashboard. Military radio, gun case. We have gun here, we have uh, ammo box, we have boxes here. Airplane seats, I guess it's maybe makes sense, maybe not. We have a giant barrel for fuel uh, protruding from outside. And Fina. And we have actually uh, a bunch of clutter on the trunk. In the trunk, we have sniper rifle and uh, your. A regular radar armor piece. So this car is supposed to be kind of lightweight explorer vehicle. Uh, as you can see, I also made lights, headlights. They're made from your regular vault uh, lights. Um, you're supposed to hang them from the ceiling, but uh, with the console commands, you could rotate the object and uh, make the object stand vertically. Then this thing this car is a van as you can see uh, i've tried to make it seem like it's been uh, like someone's working on it we have a uh, i've used power armor stands to represent 
the lift lift station i don't know how to call this i'm not a mechanic uh but we have wheels here uh we have a bunch of instruments here to make an impression that someone's actually actively wor working on this car this car is supposed to be a heavy vehicle uh, we have a turret on the roof yeah uh you can see the pattern here uh, i basically what i do is uh i use a regular uh like a junk partially decayed car and then i build things on top of that you can see we have a windshield piece used um, made from actual uh stair stairs uh, we have this giant thing here um if we had inside actually we could let me this rear gate is usable so if we head inside we have lights we have a cargo compartment and a little bench for you to sit while you're driving with your precious cargo then we have engine compartment i've combined uh, your regular generator with uh, an engine piece from decorations uh, and we have details we have this uh, radiation suit we have radio and we have a little let me let me we have a little bubble head here so it's a nice nice detail to have then we have keys on the dashboard because you need keys to ignite the car so this car called the punk van and we have a bunch of clutter on the roof then this car this car called the rat and uh, as you can see it's supposed to be kind of a lightweight buggy thing uh, in the end, I don't think it's uh, very lightweight, but we have a flamethrower, guys. Uh, clipped in, glitched in flamethrower. Uh, again, headlight. An additional headlight. A giant wheels in the back, so this car is kind of angled. I've uh, managed to use a vent piece, scaled down to represent, uh, like... Uh, Th this covering uh, okay, I don't know uh, we have a guard rail here if we head on here we have again a bunch of details keys bubble head uh, kind of a haphazardly made dashboard um, in this time I decided to make a wheel from table you can see this is a table but it was scaled down and angled to represent the wheel um, we actually could use this piece to get in and get off the car this is again scaled down to an appropriate scale chain link fence uh, chain, chain link gate so you could actually use this to get in and get off the car uh, and in the back we have radiator and we have uh, an engine compartment again I've combined a uh, regular generated from the regular game and custom uh, engine piece uh, I like this car it's it's so rusty they're all rusty but yes. i guess we've managed to achieve this mad maxi look the next one and the last one is grumpy grumpy is a little bit on the ugly side but uh, the main feature of this car is the fact that this is a tow truck you can see you can see this piece and this this is actually a vehicle this is actually a vehicle crane that was scaled down and angled in such way uh, that could uh, represent uh, a tow, tow bar thing. Uh, it's a cool piece, I guess. Uh, we have um, an additional seat. We have a ghoul, ghoul head here because obviously you need some creepy decorations if you're uh, made maxi car enthusiast. Uh, this piece is a bridge van control. And I have used a jack lift, I guess, uh, to represent some additional lever for whatever, for operating this uh, this cool tow thing. Uh, we have an additional rail railing here. Uh, wheel covering, additional uh, compartments for fuel, fuel tanks. Uh, here we have covering for, like, it's a wing replacements. I've made it from, uh, I don't know how to properly call this, but uh, you can see this piece on a subway. So I've clipped in two of these pieces together uh, to be a little bit more large 
on the both sides. We have door replacements. On this side, it's uh, just uh, your regular uh, plate, plate, uh, metal plate with a bathroom bar uh, for towels. And on this side, we have uh, it's again a piece from the subway. Uh, I guess it's uh, I don't know. It suits this car. Uh, then, then we have these pieces. It's a uh, scaled down versions of uh, poles uh, in a warehouse in warehouse section. We have this. It's a I guess it's a uh, from Far Harbor DLC. So I made I clipped this thing in to represent uh, I don't know supercharger a vent. I don't know. We have a gun, an actual gun, here uh, from from the game. It's located in the traps, defense traps, and we have this giant mounted thing on the front. Uh, and we need we need an additional headlights because our headlights, our regular headlights, are covered with this this structure. Uh, and uh, and on low, lower level, we have many decorations lying around. Some of them I've added myself manually. Some of them are from uh, Creative Cloud. Yeah. Uh, this, this wheel pieces, I've uh, managed to drag them all the way from nearby road here. They were added manually. And overall, we have uh, a lot of things lying around to represent that uh, this uh, building is uh, lived in, that uh, guys work here. My, fa my favorite piece is this uh, this thing. Uh, it's a scaled down power arm stand, and I can't exactly remember from what piece I used the chain, but it looks like hanging hanging engine. So let's head on the upper floor, and on the upper floor we have uh, a nice uh, resting area, makeshift table with a bunch of clutter. Some of this clutter was added by me manually, some of this are pieces from uh, Creative Clutter. Hot tapes bean, beer crate. Uh, so it's a cool place for guys to have a rest. To have a rest, to talk. Uh, we have this um, working desk, uh, probably for the main guy, uh, for the main guy in this uh, the Wanderers group. Uh, here we have just uh, oh sorry. Here we have it's just a warehouse with a bunch of uh, pieces clipping through because of the angle of that portion of the building. Uh, if we go here, you could see that these walls are decorated. I also decorated the roof with these pipes. I used subway decorations. Subway grips, Nuka Cola vending machine, a little bar, a little tables. I've decorated this building with signs a lot because it's a car themed building. And here you have your place to have a push ups, uh, to work out a little bit, and curtains for a little bit of privacy. So we have this yeah, nice living. floor. Uh, for guys to to have a rest, to just talk, yeah. And uh, I guess uh, I've managed to make an impression of this like very close community of car enthusiasts. Uh, maybe the only car enthusiasts in the wastelands. They've managed to maintain their cars. They managed to uh, drive them around, even such cars as this big truck. And uh, they are awesome, like your regular mechanics, they could repair your things, but they are a group of uh, car enthusiasts. They're kind of a... Uh, no, they don't like Atom Cats, because Atom Cats just occupy the Red Rocket garage, uh, and they like power armor. They don't actually drive cars. And the Wastelanders are actually drive cars. Uh, I don't know uh, whether these guys are... Maybe some of them are Minutemen, I don't know, uh, I didn't think that much about it, uh, but um, they're obviously independent, it's obviously a club, uh, cool place to hang out, and if you're, if you're a mechanic, and or you, if you're interested in cars, you could uh, join the Wastelanders and 
maybe build your own car from scrap because I suppose uh, these guys found all these cars all around uh, the settlement uh, not the settlement or maybe the settlement because when we arrive in starlight driving it's again it's a giant parking lot it's a bunch of vehicles around so maybe they just found these cars here uh, one else thing I didn't show you not much to see here but we have a backyard we actually have a backyard so I used tires a lot because obviously these guys uh, scavenge a lot, a lot of tires uh, I don't know about uh, realism uh, of actually using the car uh, like after 200 years more than 200 years uh, using uh, rubber wheels after 200 years uh, I guess they will have no traction at all uh, but uh, probably probably someone in the Commonwealth could provide them with uh, Yes. Um, I don't know, renewed uh, wheels. Uh, I've recently blowed up uh, the Pridven, so we've defeated uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. So maybe Minutemen uh, and uh, guys who sympathize with them could uh, capture some of their technologies or scientists. Uh, we have one Brotherhood of Steel soldier here uh, that I've able to spawn with mod. So it is also a possibility. Uh, so here we are, the Wastelanders Garage. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, later on, I'll be covering uh, my Starlight Settlement. Uh, well, when I will finish this. Uh, right now, this structure is uh, probably the only thing that I've managed to build. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, good luck and goodbye.